Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Class 113. Let's go! Beginner. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to class number 113. Yeah, lucky 13, hey? 113 here. And as always, I'll begin with a review of yesterday's class, class number 112. And in the class, we were talking about the word much, mucho much, which appears in negatives and questions. Usually. We don't usually use much in affirmatives. Okay? For example, in the question, I could say, does Harrison Ford have much film experience? Yes, he has a lot of film experience. He has a lot of film experience. We don't normally say he has much. No. He has a lot of film experience. Does he have a lot of money? Does he have much money? ¿Se puede decir los dos? Does he have much money? Yes, he has he has a lot of money. Mm. Oh, does Almeria have much water? No. Almeria doesn't have much water. Well, depending, depending on uh, the weather, sometimes it has a lot of water, but na but usually, I will say, usually, it doesn't have much water. Uh, does the president have much free time? No, he doesn't. The president doesn't have much free time. Does Iraq have much snow? No. Iraq doesn't have much snow. Mm, ask me if I have much luck. Kyle, do you have much luck? Uh, I don't think so. Not with the lottery, at least. I don't have much luck with the lottery. I have a lot of luck in other things, but I don't have much luck with the lottery. I have a glass of water here. Actually, yeah, I have a glass. I have a glass. It's it's it, it's a water glass. It's a glass. I have a glass here. Ask me if I have much water in the glass. Kyle, do you have much water in the glass? No, I don't have much water in the glass. In fact, I don't have any water in the glass. I don't have any water in the glass. It's empty. It's a water glass. It's not a glass of water. It's a water glass. Hmm. It's empty. It's a glass. But there's no water in it. Yeah. I would rather have a glass of water than a water glass. Right? Yeah. But no, there isn't much water in it. There's a little, a few drops. Unas gotas. There are a few drops of water in it. It's not my glass. It's someone else's glass. I think maybe, maybe it was Kathleen's glass. It's empty, except for a few drops. Hmm. Ask me if I have much money in the bank. Hey, Kyle, do you have much money in the bank? No, no, I don't have much money in the bank. Does Cuba have much ice? No, Cuba doesn't have much ice. No, it's too hot. They don't have much ice. All right. Okay, we can move on now to practice our translation list from yesterday. This is translation list 
number 34. Let's go. Translation. All right. It is time for translation list number 34. Starting off here. Let me get my book here. There we go. There we go. Number one, hay leche en esa botella. Hay leche en esa botella. There's some milk in that bottle. There's some milk in that bottle. Yeah. Number two. Hay japoneses en tu oficina? Are there any Japanese people in your office? Are there any Japanese people in your office? Uh, Nacho, are, are there any Japanese people in the office today? No, there aren't any <laughs> no. Japanese people. <laughs> no, there aren't. There aren't any Japanese people in the office. Not in the radio station, at least, right? Not, not, not today. Not today, right? <laughs> yeah. Number three, no hay japoneses in mi oficina. Mm. There aren't any Japanese people in my office. No. Number four, hay japoneses in mi oficina. There are some Japanese people in my office. Yeah. This morning, this is a true story. True story. I'm not lying. This is the truth. I'm telling the truth. I'm not lying. This morning, I was teaching classes, and there was a meeting. And there were some Japanese people that came in for the meeting, and they were bowing, as is their, their, their custom. And my students were greeting them and bowing to greet the Japanese visitors to the office, which was very nice um, because you don't see Japanese, very many Japanese people in Madrid, but uh, it was nice, yes. Number five, hay mucha tinta en la pluma. Is there much ink in the pen? Is there much ink in the pen? Number six, no hay mucha tinta en la pluma. No hay mucho, mucha tinta en la pluma. There isn't much ink in the pen. Number seven, hay mucha tinta en la pluma. There's a lot of ink in the pen. There, yeah, there's a lot of ink. So is there, is there much ink in the pen? There isn't much ink in the pen. Yes, there's a lot of ink in the pen. Now, number eight, hay muchas oportunidades en tu país? Are there many opportunities in your country? Are there many opportunities in your country? Number nine. No hay muchas oportunidades en mi país. There aren't many opportunities in my country. Number ten. Hay muchas oportunidades en mi país. There are a lot of opportunities in my country. There are a lot of opportunities in my country. Number 11. No hay camellos en este país. There aren't any camels in this country. There aren't any camels in this country. No, there aren't any camels in this country. Number 12. No hay buenos profesores en este colegio. There aren't any good teachers in this school. There aren't any good teachers in this school. Hmm. Maybe the school needs to hire Vaughn Systems if there aren't any good teachers. There aren't any good teachers in this school. Okay, very good. It is time to move on now to our new material. And before we get into the new class, let's take a look at our word of the day. Word of the day. The word of the day today is to reject. Rechazar. To reject. To reject something. No, you can't do that. We are rejecting your proposal. We are rejecting your offer. To reject. Rechazar. Reject. 
reject, like project, reject with the J, 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 J sound, reject. Very good. All right, now here we are in class number 113, looking at a very important form, a very important structure, which we have seen, we just saw it in the translation list. That is, a lot of, a lot of. So, a lot of can be used in every case. So, muchos, muchas, mucho, mucha. We can use it for affirmative, for negative, and for interrogative. Yeah. So, we can always use it. Are there a lot of people in Spain? Yes, there are a lot of people in Spain. Are there a lot of Eskimos? No, there aren't a lot of Eskimos. Is there a lot of water in Almeria? No, there isn't a lot of water in Almeria. Is there a lot of sand in the desert? Yes, there is a lot of sand in the desert. We can always use it. So now, many of you at home are saying, Kyle, why do we have much and many? Why do we have to study that if we can always use a lot of? And the answer, well, because native speakers will continue to use them much and many. So you have to become familiar with them, the words much and many. And very often when we can use much and many, we do. So I recommend you use the words much and many when you can. But if you're not sure, just use a lot of. Okay? Does Canada have a lot of ice? Yes, Canada has a lot of ice. Does Spain have a lot of bullfighters? Does Spain have a lot of bullfighters? Yes, Spain has a lot of bullfighters. Excuse me, do you have a lot of Spanish relatives? Yes, I have a lot of Spanish relatives. Do I have a lot of Canadian friends? Yes, you have a lot of Canadian friends. Do you have a lot of Canadian friends? No, Kyle, I don't have a lot of Canadian friends. Does the king have a lot of formal obligations? Yeah, yeah, yes he does. The king has a lot of formal obligations. Vocabulary of the day. All right, it is time now for the vocabulary of the day. Our five words of vocabulary. Pantalla is the first word. Pantalla. I'm looking at one right now. A screen. Screen. S screen. Now, I said a screen with the article. But be careful because we say screen. Empezando con, con, con ese. Screen. El tiempo. Atmosférico. The weather. How's the weather? Oh, it's good. Oh, it's raining. A través de. Through. Through with the TH. Through. Construir. To build. Today I build. Every day I build. Yesterday I built. Every day I build. Yesterday I built. When I was young, I built an igloo. Exigir. Exigir is to demand. To demand. Yes. All right. Now, before we leave, I want to talk about a structure de vez en cuando. De vez en cuando. How do you say that in English? From time to time. De vez en cuando. From time to time. We have other ways of saying it. From time to time. Now and then. Now and again. Or my personal favorite. Every once. 
in a while. ¿Cómo? Yes. Every once in a while. From time to time. I wear a tie from time to time. I'm not wearing a tie now. I didn't wear a tie yesterday, but I wear a tie from time to time. I wear a tie every once in a while. Hmm. I go to Canada from time to time. A few times a year. I go to the Puerta del Sol from time to time. Not every day. Not every week. But I do go there from time to time. So now we've seen this structure from time to time. We will practice this again tomorrow in our review. We're out of time. So I'm going to finish now, but I'll be back in a few minutes with the intermediate class. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>